Okay. Hmm. It's July the 4th. About 2 o'clock now. But uh, there you have it. Okay, now I got the oil pump on. I uh, changed out the uh, pickup tube. Timing gear's on. And it's in time. See that little dude right there? Well, I've actually moved it some. And then the dot is right there. But it's dead on it. I can fix that real quick. Uh, before I slam it all together, I'll do another test. I'll take this gear right here. I don't know that fits on there like that. We'll just do it right now. Hold on. Now nah, it's dead on it. That one right there hits that one. And if you can see that dot, it hits that one right there. See? All right. It's perfect. Uh, boy, that was a little bugger too. Hmm. It wasn't that bad though. Uh, it's all learning processes. I had to take the keeper out right here and then get a pair of pliers and put a pad on this right here and squeeze them both together so the chain would go up and I get it on the camshaft but that's in uh, and I gotta torque it down take oil pan out get it press wash press wash intake press wash starter and probably go ahead and do these uh, water inlets and let's see uh, was I got all of the old units in here so that I didn't paint into the holes and then have sticky and I can't get them. <clears throat> so you can see what a crankshaft sensor looks like right there. I don't know if you can see the cam or not. You might be able to. Mm, not really. Where's my lighter? Light. Flashlight. Well, I was up to... Uh, Six o'clock fooling with this thing this morning. Six a.m. Yeah, I get where I just it's a no-stop type situation for me, and uh, I just can't control myself. I just got to keep going. But uh, the very important thing is to make sure that these are extremely clean, which I took the time and cleaned out the. Uh, caps really well because that's where that's uh, my rear seal is going to sit for the uh, oil pan and boy that's kind of crazy I'll get to test out that die grinder but that's like <laughs> you see that yeah so I'll just take the die grinder and buff that shit down because I don't want that causing a problem seating up against anything over here you know, out, in, I don't care. I don't want it <laughs> having a problem. And we'll check, make sure that I got everything right. You see my stamps are on this side, stamps. You can see the stamps down there and the stamps there. I wish I had my flashlight. Let's make this one work. Well, no, it's not there. Dead gummit. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see because it's one of them, it looks just like a dadgum extension. Like that, what it looks like. It's just a pin light, really. It works really well. Well, anyway, uh, we'll just show it to you when I find the damn thing. But like I got ways to go. Uh, I'm going to put the... Uh, Timer chain cover on it, and then the oil pan, and put the gasket set on there, and then we can flip it up and really put some oil in the motor. And I'll put the water pump on, go ahead and get it on. Um, 
I don't think that's going to be in my way. It might with that motor mount right here. I'm thinking about putting that inlet on right now too. The one that goes in the back back there. Put it on. We'll have to see. But I can go ahead and put a coat of paint on this side right here and get this done. Get these little pieces right here done. Right around through here. A few areas that I missed. You know, I was doing it upside down here. Around through here. We'll get that oil pan on and we'll have it sealed. We'll paint the oil pan too. Uh, a little sanding on it because it's got some rust on the outside of it. Inside, you know, it's got oil everywhere. <laughs> but we'll clean it. Starter. The intake. Uh, hmm. I'm not going to put any pressure washing on that. I'll just take and, uh, the fuel rail. I'll just wipe it down with uh, clean gas. Clean it up real good. But I don't want to get wet. <clears throat> and, well, if people don't like the looks that I got going on here, well, tough. So y'all enjoy. Uh, I'm not even going to pressure wash that because I don't want water in my well. Maybe the bracket, but not the pump and the uh, well. Reservoir. That's it. Uh, we're getting really close. Hmm. And it just, it's, when I get turned up, I get that oil pan on and I turn it up, I'll be ready to put lifters in and uh, the push rod guides and the rocker arms. And those rocker arms aren't in that bad of shape. Uh, I could use a new set and would like to have some, but they're 20 bucks a piece. That'd be $160. And I'm not ready to spend that right now. I can take that top end off and change that later anytime I want to. But they're not worn that bad. I think they'll work. So y'all enjoy. Peace. Nanny Nanny, Shazbot, and all that other good shit. And we're going to pick that little dude out and start using it. Let's go get wet. Bye.